Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the Google Maps Journey Planner. So let's open up our web browser and we'll go to Google Maps. When we get to Google Maps, we can basically do a couple of things. First of all, normally what I do when I'm using Google Maps is to pick the location where I'm going to first, right? So if I type in something like, um, let's say we type in Stratford. I want to go to Stratford train station on the high street here. So it's put a pin here. This red pin represents where we, our current uh, destination where we want to go to, right? So it puts Stratford pin in there. And I can click on directions here. And then in the location, I can type in something like, right now it's picking up my current location where I am right now. But if I type in something like London Bridge, let's say uh, London Bridge station, right? Here. Google will draw a line showing you how to get there using a car for example. Now often I do this if a client's coming to visit me and I want to meet them in Stratford and I know that they're coming from outside of London but they're going to get to London Bridge for example right so they'll get the train to London Bridge and then I can send them a link to this um, this particular map so if I want, it, want them to get there by train I can click on the train options here and then it will show me the train route and it's telling me that it's quicker for the customer it, you know be your client it will be quicker for them to walk to bank train station but if they want to be a bit lazy right you can click on this one here and then they can just go on the jubilee line it takes a little bit longer because it goes around this sort of direction but the central line you have to walk to bank train station for example and then get on the central line which is a little bit quicker right it's about four minutes difference uh, using these two different options so you can click on one of these specifically and then it will tell you exactly how to get there and then you can go into the schedule explorer here and you can see more information about the journey, how to get from one location to another, and it will give you the exact, you know, the exact location, how you're going to get there during this um, this travel, right? And you can click back here, and you can click different options like walking. So one day you might be want, want to get a bit of exercise, and it takes one hour forty four minutes to walk from London Bridge all the way to Stratford. So if you've got a spare two hours and you want to walk 5.1 miles and it's a nice sunny day, then why not walk that distance? Two hours isn't that long, so maybe you want to take a, get a bit of exercise and walk, or you can click uh, on the bike option, and it will give you a bike route. And you, you see sometimes these grey lines here. You see there's a grade version and a grade version here. So you can click on those lines and it will give you an alternative route. It's the equivalent of clicking on one of these three. So if I click on the top one, then it will highlight this bottom one down here. If I click on the middle one, then it's showing me this one here. Uh, this middle one here will show me the top one. So Google will always normally recommend the fastest route uh, based on the sort of um, type of transport you're using. So often I'll use car and it will show me the best car route or I'll use the train route and it will show me the best train route. Now the other thing that you can do is click on one of these train routes. So let's say we click on this top one for the train route for example. When we click on it, we can click on this share option. There's also this option here, and that's really to send this information to yourself. So if I were to click on that, it shows me I can send it to my mobile phone, I can send it to my email account, or I can send it as a text message to my phone, and it will send me a link showing me um, how to get back to this exact uh, route using um, a simple link in uh, either a text message, email, or directly to my phone. Alternatively, I can click on the share button or the print button. So if I click on the share button, I can just copy this map, copy the link, and then paste that and send that to my client in an email and just explain to them when you get to London Bridge, your best option to get to Stratford would be to follow the instructions in this Google Map link. So they can just bring that up on their phone as soon as they get outside the train station. And then Google Maps will just give them exactly how to get to that bank train station and follow the particular route. You can also embed it as well. So if you've got a website, and uh, imagine if you're doing some sort of sponsored walk or something like that, some sort of walk. Maybe you'll put a map there showing the route that you're going to be walking. This is a quick way to generate that route map, right? You can easily say people are going to start at London Bridge and we're going to walk along this particular route, something like this. Or you may just want to put a specific um, uh, sort of a route for whatever reason on your, on your particular website. But normally I'll click share the link copy the link and then paste that into an email so imagine you sent that to a client in an email and then they open up their web browser and they paste that same link you've copied and pasted then they'll get exactly this particular route um, listed here and they can also click the back arrow and they can pick an alternative route if they want to okay so that's how i go about using the google um, route planner uh, this is just like a single 
route to specific route direction you can also go back here and you can add um, more places to the route right so you can select what time you're leaving as well here you can select other options and you can also reverse the route by clicking on these up and down arrows so you can reverse the route and it will show you that getting on that Stratford and going by the Jubilee line is quicker than getting to the central line and, and going that way is more convenient because it's only one train let's say for example okay so I'm going to close this down I hope you find that useful and I look forward to seeing you on the next DCP web tutorial.